Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the Hoops Guru with Beach Street Sports Blast, and I'm here today talking to you about the Brooklyn Nets. Um, this team right here is going to struggle. They're going to struggle mightily this year. They weren't a good team last year, and they're not going to be good in the 2016-17 season. Uh, you have a team that's paying for the sins of the past. When the owner, Mikhail Pokorov, caught in the league, basically thought he could throw his money around and purchase a championship. He allowed Billy King to make some atrocious trades, uh, trading for the big two of the big three from Boston. Um, these guys, one's retired, one's on his way out as far as Kevin Durant and Paul, Kevin Garnett, excuse me, and Paul Pierce. So now that leaves you with a team that's basically paying for these bad trades. Um, first thing you know is that this is a very poor roster that the Brooklyn Nets have. Uh, basically, they're going to star Jeremy Lin and uh, Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich, he did pretty well. He actually did star during the Olympics, but I don't know how far much that's going to translate in the NBA. Um, with those two starring, you know, these aren't, these aren't perennial all-stars or anything like that. So when you're relying on these two guys to be your bread and butter win winners, you know you're already behind the nine ball. Um, and uh, they have kind of B-rate veterans that they're going to ask to play bigger roles. Uh, guys like uh, Trevor Booker, journeyman, uh, Chase Budinger, journeyman, Randy Foy, journeyman, Luis Scola. Good, but another journeyman. Not any, all these guys should be bench players, and a few of these guys are more than likely going to be starting and actually relied upon to play major minutes to contribute, and it's just not going to equal success, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Uh, let's look at the brighter side, though. I think Jeremy Lin has a chance to be an all-star. I think he's going to play major minutes. I think he's going to be able to showcase his talent. I think he'll be he'll give headaches to a lot of point guards in the league this year. But I think the team's record will keep him from getting some real recognition. But I expect Lin to put up big numbers this year because there's nothing. There's he doesn't have to worry about anybody behind him, and there's zero expectations for this team. Uh, only thing they're trying to do is conserve what they have to try to have a better future. Um, another person this is a good opportunity for is Anthony Bennett, the number one pick overall, who's basically been bounced around and out of the league. He's gotten a one-year deal, and hopefully he can make the best of it and salvage what, salvage a career. I believe the kid's only like 24 years old, so there's a ch chance for redemption. Um, I'm actually rooting for it. I don't want to see a guy that young have those expectations and be out of the league so fast. Um, but honestly, what this team really should be looking forward to do is starting over. I mean, they have that beautiful building in the Barclays Center, and, you know, they're almost in danger of becoming the old Nets that played in the Meadowlands in Newark when no one wanted to see them out in Jersey because the product is so terrible. So I, what they need to do is restart, revamp, hit, hit the reset button, starting with trading Brook Lopez. Get what you can get from him, maybe get some picks, get anything, get, get some young bigs, get something to transition from what – has happened with this team in the past. Just get a new identity. And I even think they need to get rid of those black and white uniforms. Maybe even make those uh, old Brooklyn Dodger colors their primary uniforms or something. But this team needs a total rebranding. And that's the only thing I think they're playing for now is to let the people know they're serious and they're going in a new direction. Because this is going to be a long year for the Brooklyn Nets. Hopefully they got some draft picks in the future to get some young prospects. You know, maybe they could turn themselves into a Minnesota or have some potential like the Philadelphia Sixers have now with all their young talent. But the, this year is going to be a dismal year if you're a Brooklyn Nets fan, and unfortunately there's going to be more bad years to come, at least three or four, till they actually have any prosperity uh, to look for. So that's it. This is the Hoops Guru talking to you about the Brooklyn Nets. Um, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to hit you up with some more teams. I'm going to keep it coming. So I'll, you keep watching. I'll keep talking. Peace.